taken. Um, oh, that's cool. It supported the eye toy. That was the. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hi, Nate. Hi, uh, well, Noodle, kind of. Noodle's behind me. I don't think you guys will be able to hear her, though. Say hi, Noodle. Yeah, I don't, I don't think anybody heard that. Um, but Noodle's behind me. We are going to attempt to play Stardew Valley in multiplayer. I don't know how well that's going to work because I'm not going to be able to hear her too well because I have headphones on. She's not going to be able to hear me too well because she's deaf and I'm not facing her. So this is going to be... Yeah, you might want to get your hearing aids just in case I need to talk to you at all. Um, so yeah, but uh, we're going we're gonna to do what we can do here. We're going to sit here and BS for a minute while the uh, pre-roll ad runs before we get into things. Um, and while that's going on, I guess we can go ahead and at least get a uh, farm going, you know, get like some stuff in. Our name will be uh, Stream. What should our farm name be, guys? Nate, Optijack, uh, anyone else that's around? Does anyone have an idea for the farm name? I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know what I want it to be, to be honest. Uh, we will do a separate, uh, cabins, I guess. I don't know. Nearby cabins? We're only going to do one. One of these days, I want to have a farm for, like, you know, just everyone. To, to let people just come in and shit like that, but streaming, the streaming farm. Uh, I mean, we'll remix everything, but uh, one cabin nearby is fine. Yeah, all the these settings are fine. Um, but like, I don't, I don't know how long far we're actually gonna get into this farm since, uh, like, you know, <laughs> gonna be starting from the beginning. And it's just gonna be a noodle and I playing, so. You know, uh, Four Corners, that's like the best farm. Although, with that said, we could do Grandpa's Farm. Grandpa's Farm's pretty decent. It's part of the mod, or mods, that I'm doing. Um, and it is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. But I am a huge fan of the Four Corners. Like, for single-player playthroughs, and for, like, normal multiplayer playthroughs, I think Four Corners is probably the best one. Noodle, do you have a uh, a pick for the farm name? Yeah. That's a big no from Noodle, so... <laughs> so, a streaming farm it is, because, I don't know, I don't care, man. Um... Love farm? No, love farm's weird. That 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 gets a little too into creepy territory there. Uh, I don't really care about the accessories and things, except for the fact that I need a beard, and I do kind of like having the Goku hair wherever that's at. There we go. Gotta gotta get some Goku hair going on there, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me also unmute the game there. What's that? Make sure we pick a cat. Yes, I got I got a cat. In our personal game, somehow Noodle and I um, ended up with a well, not a cat. So that's a thing. She'll never let me live down. Uh, for those of you who haven't, well, actually, you know what? Now that that's done, let's uh start the recording. So hello, everybody. Um, again, hello, welcome. We are playing some Stardew Valley, myself and hopefully Mr. Noodle here together. Uh, this is the farm settings. For anyone who hasn't seen it, I'm not going to skip the intro as long as it doesn't crash. It might crash. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's hit OK. Fingers crossed. Hopefully the intro plays out OK. I always like skip the intro. The one time I didn't skip the intro with all the mods I had installed, the game crashed. But I think that may have just been because like I was fucking around doing some stupid stuff. But anyways, and for my very special grandson, I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Fuck, dude. Hits me right in the feels every time. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Pull the plug and get this old man's farm? Fuck, dude. <laughs> it's fucked up, bro. Hey, 
XX years later, whatever that means in Roman numeral. Uh, terminated. Very nice. You got Woody um, with a creepy ass tongue. And then you got us, but that's not all. Wait for it. Wait for it. After us, normal lady, skeleton. <laughs> I love that. That's one of my favorite little things. There's just a dude dead at his desk. And they've never noticed. He's just been there for Lord knows how fucking long, dude. It's amazing. Dear stream, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Streaming Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Single tear rolling down my face. XX would be 20, so you think that was supposed to just be up to the player? Nah, 20, man. Definitely meant 20. <laughs> no, I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. You are now hosting a multiplayer game. So, Noodle, that's your cue. You should be able to join now. I think. We'll see. We'll see how this works. <laughs> You're still super dizzy still? Uh, Yeah, that's good. That's, that's, that's a good sign after you <laughs> get your head fucking knocked sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude. Can't believe you dropped... What was it? A hood? The hood of your car? You dropped it on your head? Thankfully, I don't think my mic's picking up the uh, the TV in the background. But if the like mic starts to get real nasty sounding or something, someone let me know and I'll uh, <laughs> tell Noodle to turn the TV down. But I think it should be okay. I've run RTX voice, so it does pretty good at cutting out background noise. Could turn the game up just a little bit, though. Uh, I'm Robin, the town carpenter. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Man, I've been watching a lot of uh, Stardew Valley like YouTubers recently, and I'm honestly considering doing like a 100-day challenge or something like that, or just, just doing videos of this, but I, I know for a fact I don't have the time, so... <laughs> this is the streaming farm. So yeah, I don't know, but I... I would really like to do it, but I just know for a fact I don't have the time. Like, not even close, man. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Robin is bae, trying to get her to divorce her husband and marry me. <laughs> I always went for Abigail, personally. Um, but since, like, Noodle's here in this one in particular, I'd probably, you know, marry her, I guess. <laughs> She's making a face. I know you guys can't see, but, uh, <laughs> hey, Rue, welcome. Welcome, man. I'm glad you made it in. Like, since I've waited on you, all you seem fine at the store. Wait, what? Oh, you're talking to Nate. Got it. And here we are, your new home. Hecking chlorine in my shower makes me sneeze way too much. That sucks. Ah, oh, the new farm. What the fuck you doing in my house, Lewis? Ain't no one said you could be in there? Welcome. I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Sorry you're a bit late. Don't be. Don't be, Rue. It's not an issue, man, honestly. Trespasser. <laughs> so you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Quote, unquote. Rustic. That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little bit more apt, though. Fuck, dude. So rude. And you want to marry that person off to Jack? Damn. <laughs> Don't listen to her stream. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. I mean, you know. It's probably true, though. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. All right. So, Noodle, can you hear me okay? Okay, good. Here's what I think we should do. I think... I think we should only grow, like, three or four plots. A plot being, like, a group of nine. And everything else has to be done automatically. Like, with with sprinklers. Just so we're not spending, like, all day watering and shit. Because I know how much you hate watering. Yeah. 
Okay. So she seems fine with that. <laughs> Become a turnip farmer like Goku. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. There's always something a little bit creepy about that. See, in the uh, first Star, Star or not Stardew Valley, the first Harvest Moonlight game that I played, um, they came around at like five or six o'clock in the afternoon to pick up the shit, not in the middle of the night. That's just a little bit creepy. Um, so we are playing with mods. I believe I mentioned that, but in case anyone missed, uh, we are playing with some mods. We got that going on here. Um, this is our little house that we start with. This is our hunger bar. We do have to eat in the mods that I'm using. Um, so that's a thing. Uh... What else? What else? Uh, energy? I don't know. Everything else is pretty much the same. It's not that much different. <laughs> it's actually... So the big thing, I'm, at the, I'm using a mod called Stardew Valley Expanded. That's the biggest one. It actually makes a fair bit of changes to the game. Um, I am a big fan of the changes that it makes to the game for the most part. So, like, I'm here for it. Especially as someone that's put, you know, hundreds of hours into Stardew Valley. I appreciate that because it gives me more stuff. To do basically so yeah um i'm also playing with a mod that slows down time a little bit for two reasons one i like having just a little bit more time in my day especially since stardew valley expanded adds so much to it and then also anytime you play in multiplayer the world just kind of moves faster because the speed of the world seems to always move depending on who is moving the fastest right so like if you're in some of the mines as an example normally the time would slow down a little bit but since you're in multiplayer um the it's always going to move at base time unless you're both in the mines then it might slow down maybe but i'm not sure and then like if i were to pause normally the game would pause right here but since noodle is also here we can't see her yet but since noodle is also here um i can't actually pause the game unless i use that mod so yeah so we're we got that mod going too um that's that's like the the biggest ones there's other little stuff like the ui info suite mod is a huge help uh 10 out of 10 would recommend for real like that one is huge love that one there she is there's noodle hi noodle we can we can give noodle stuff there you go would you like some fiber wow noodle can't handle my request right now how rude dude um so noodle is here by the way she can't uh she can hear me okay but she can't uh i don't know how much attention she's paying to chat since uh she's playing on the tv on my gaming laptop that's plugged into the tv um so i don't know if she's really paying attention or not and uh you guys can't hear her because she is nowhere near the microphone i don't know why she's following me around with these seeds and not helping to clean up the farm a little bit though um what i it'll give me one at a time you have 15 i'm not <laughs> i'm not gonna sit here and take one at a time <laughs> um you can throw them on the ground you can throw them on throw them on the ground it's this oh uh you have to go into the options and set that as an option it's called the the options called item stowing noodle only ever plays on switch and even then like i set everything up for 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 noodle so she's a little uh she's a little rusty you'll have to give her a, a little bit of a break here <laughs> she's waiting for you to clear it so she can plant them yeah lazy is what she is man love her she does actually like clearing the farm that's one of the few things that she does enjoy doing she just she doesn't like farming <laughs> you know like one of the main things in the game that's that's what she doesn't like to do um uh there like that that's how i like my stuff and then my sword will go in the first spot but uh right now our inventory is so fucking small that it's gonna be hell so right now it doesn't really matter how we lay stuff out because everything's going to change later anyways i think what i'm going to do is I just told Noodle that we are only going to have four plots. So two. And then this will be three. I'm not really like centering it or anything. So I'm sorry for the people that that's going to bother. It's kind of bothering me. So I really do apologize. But you know, it's too late now. Oh, didn't mean to didn't mean to do that one. I actually don't play with keyboard and mouse too often. I usually play with uh with uh controller actually, which I mean 
is a little bit weird for me, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I'm going to run over Noodle and buy six more seeds so that we can fill up all of our space with parsnips. So if you want to go ahead and plant all of yours, you can. Uh, this is Stardew Valley, by the way. For anyone who hasn't seen or played Stardew Valley, it is a beautiful farming game. I noticed uh, Rue mentioned it being kind of like Rune Factory. Yes, it is. It is somewhat similar to Rune Factory. Um, actually, it's similar to, to Harvest Moon, which is kind of what Rune Factory is based off of, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so there's definitely some, some, some similarities there. No, there's monsters. Um, the monsters are mainly in the mine area but you can find them other places they can attack your farm but that's something you either have to turn on as like an option or uh, something that you can unlock later on no i don't have that setting turned on so like yeah so with less monsters than rune factory probably i'll be honest with you i've never actually played rune factory before it's a game i've always been interested in but i've never actually given it a try so yeah uh and it is definitely my comfort game i think i've mentioned that on stream before like if i'm having a bad day and you know just feeling like shit or something like that and just want to relax and get away from everything i can do that with stardew valley for just like hours man <laughs> i just i fucking i i do love this game i think it's i think it's brilliant okay noodle the first thing that like we really need to do is we need to get a lot of wood because the the mods that i'm using um, changes... Oh, God. I'm exhausted. Oh, God. I did too much. Um, anyways, it changes the crafting recipes a little bit. So, the chests now cost 100 instead of 50. They're twice as expensive. Um, so we're gonna need a lot of wood just so we can get rid of some of the stuff that's in our inventory. Um, I need to find something to eat anything because you can see over here that I'm exhausted that's bad <laughs> you don't you don't want to be exhausted because then you can't you can't run you can only very slowly walk around it is it's it's bad man uh for anyone who's played stardew valley before but has never played it modded this is going to look weird to you the mod that i'm running adds new people new areas um changes the layout of the map a bit it's still very similar to the base game stardew valley but it's also very different at the same time like they added a lot of stuff but it all fits very well with what's uh what's in the vanilla game so mary dolce wait what do it ed butter toast but without monsters okay so with less monsters do it mary dolce rf4 i, I i'm so confused <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know I don't know what those comments are about Rue. I'm very confused. Who's Dolce? Do Dolce Cabana? I don't I don't know. How do you get off the farm? You just Yeah, I'm getting hungry too, but uh you just follow the road. Play Rune Factory 4 and marry Dolce, she the goth girlfriend. Oh well everyone know the goth girlfriend, the best girlfriend, man. Her nickname is Dolly. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Sure, sure. Yeah, the food thing can be a bit of a hassle in the beginning, but uh, we'll get there. How much wood do you have, love? 66? Okay, that's not enough. We need more wood. We really need to make a chest. <laughs> There's like three different ways out. I told you, just fall this road down. <laughs> oh my god have i ever told you guys that i absolutely love noodle just like more than anything in the world just want you all to know you left the ed off on purpose it was from foster's house oh lame <laughs> okay i got i got 50 noodle did you make your way off the farm oh okay well how how am I supposed to make a chest if you're just going to leave me like that? Oh, my lord. I don't remember telling you to get off the farm. You're literally making stuff up. She has a bad habit of lying about everything all the time. Just everyone knows. You always remember when Ed from Ed, Ed, and Eddie would <laughs> shout buttered toast? Yes. Drop your, drop your wood. 
Drop it, drop it low, girl. Did you drop it? <laughs> Just like any other controller? There we go. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead. Go find whatever you need to find. Uh, one of the best things for for food is um the salad at the bar. For the price, it's one of the best things that you can get. Okay. No, I mean you don't have to buy a salad if you don't want to, Noodle. But I'm I'm just saying it's one of the best ones. Check and see if you can, because one of the flowers gives you energy. She asked if she could eat a daffodil. One of the flowers gives you energy. One of the flowers that you get this month uh, takes away or is zero. I think daffodils are zero, actually. And uh, I think dandelions are the ones that are worth something. Because, like, in real life, you can eat dandelion salad and stuff like that. So, <laughs> Drop it, dubstep remix. <laughs> oh, God. See, in my personal playthrough, this is, uh, this is Haley. She's, meh. Uh, in my personal playthrough that I'm doing with the mods here, I'm probably going to try and marry this girl that I'm going to try and meet right here. I don't know her schedule. Everyone in Stardew Valley has, like, schedules that they follow to do basically anything. And, uh, I don't have them memorized, surprisingly, after how much time I play. But right here, Sophia is her name. I like her. She doesn't like people. <laughs> Sorry. I get a little nervous around people I haven't met before. My name is Sophia. I'm the owner of the Blue Moon Vineyard. Hi, Sophia. Uh, well, I'll see you around, I guess. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's Bay right there. <laughs> I mean, uh, Noodle? Noodle is Bay? <laughs> Damn, that choker is cute. Right, dude? Like, I mean, I don't see any other choice, honestly. When playing by myself. If Noodle and I continue playing on here, which I would prefer to play modded instead of the uh, the, the version on the Switch that we're playing, um, then, yeah. You can't find food? I, to I told you, go to the bar and buy some if you have to. Or just go foraging. I mean, you know how to forage. That's her other, like, favorite thing to do. Noodles, I mean, is to, to run around and forage stuff. Did you check up by the uh, the mountains? Hmm. Oh, was the game being a little freezy for a moment? I kind of uh foraged half of the the bottom already. Uh, all I have right now are some spring onions. So, I mean, like, if you can find me, I'll give you some spring onions, but exactly. <laughs> that's the problem. I don't think you're going to find me because I am in an area that's not in the base game, so I don't know if you'll ever find it. Right now, you're just cleaning up the farm, Nate? Yeah, I mean, that's what I usually spend the beginning of the game doing. Um, but I happen to know that this is here, the forest sword, which is a really good weapon for this stage of the game. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And, uh, and then, uh, you need to meet everyone. That's one of the, are you okay? That's where you picked all the onions, isn't it? Yes, that's where I picked all the onions. She made a weird noise. You sounded like you were dying back there or something. Yeah, I know. It sounded like you were choking on the pretzels that you're eating. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyways, in the beginning of the game, I was trying to say, you also need to uh, complete the quest to meet all the villagers. Not that one. This one. Introductions. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you haven't already done that, Nate, I would highly suggest you do that as well. Oh, there's a dandelion uh, that I can't pick up. Is there anything I'm willing to get rid of? Um, I guess a single mixed seed... Mixed seeds are, uh, I don't know. Some people really like them. I've just never been that big of a fan of them. I mean, I don't try to, like, throw them away. Don't purposefully try to get rid of them or anything like that. But I don't hoard them either. Like, I don't I don't place much importance on them. 
Uh, but yeah, the whole point of the game is basically just, you know, live your life, man. Make some money, make some friends, help out the town. Uh, either become a corporate dirtball by, by paying JoJo a bunch of money or rebuild the community through acts of kindness and, and donating your shit to magical forest sprites. Um, you know, <laughs> as one does. Pretty, pretty normal shit, honestly. Tomorrow, if I remember correctly, in-game, not, not in person. Tomorrow in-game, I think we'll unlock the fishing pole? I think that's on the second. I'm really bad with memory. <laughs> so I could be wrong, but I think, I think on the second is when you unlock the fishing pole. If it's not on the second, then it's probably like on the third. See, I don't really have to worry about cleaning up the farm too much either, though, because Noodle loves to clean up the farm. Like, that is number one, their thing to do. To do or to, 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 yeah, whatever. You know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think I sold a fiber. I don't remember if I sold one of them. Noodle, do you need any food still? Okay, that's fine. Do you want to go to bed? I mean, we can, we can scythe a little bit, I guess. Uh, I think this was my area. You came in here first, okay? Stream honey, trust me, we know. <laughs> what? What do you mean you were here first? I was in front of you. How was I in front of you if you came in there first? I think you tried to take my area, Noodle, and now you're yelling at me, I think is what happened. I think Rue can't hear what you're saying right now. <laughs> so. Let's go ahead. Let's try that one more time. Yeah, no one no one can hear you. <laughs> She's yelling in the background, but <laughs> I'll you type it out in chat. Oh god. Since we're both like uh very low on energy love, I think we should probably go to bed. Normally Noodle and I stay up until like one something in the morning before we go to bed in the game. But um yeah. I think I think we're gonna have to go to bed a little bit earlier than normal. Uh, this is also the TV. The TV like tells you things because of the mods that I'm running. I don't really need the TV because it'll tell me my uh, luck right here. It'll tell me whatever the weather is going to be tomorrow. Well, if it's not going to be clear and sunny, it'll tell me that. And then if there's a uh, a special program on that teaches you a recipe, it'll tell me that as well. So. Like, yeah. Uh, you hit no, love. So, no, no. <laughs> She's used to playing... Don't throw away your tools. She's used to playing on Switch. And on Switch, the A and B buttons are backwards. So she's struggling. You have to get out of bed and then get back in. There you go. She did it. She figured it out. Everyone, everyone put some claps in the uh, in the chat for for noodle or some hypes or something just to uh, let her know that she did a good job <laughs> rue said they don't know what they're backing up but yes y'all don't have to y'all don't have to be on her side she doesn't know what's going on anyways Konami code is backwards for the A and B buttons too. Yeah. It's so weird, isn't it? The way they have that. I mean, I get it. Like in Japan, that's like the standard, right? I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Fucking junk mail, dude. Yeah, that's uh. so noodle. No one on stream can see what you're talking about. Noodle's watching the TV, and there's a new channel, and uh, so she's freaking out. That's because I have a mod, the Animal Husband Husbandry mod, where animals can have babies and stuff. So they're giving you tips on how to take care of your animals. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. You don't have to water, love. I would appreciate the help, but you don't have to. Um, also, make sure you eat some food every once in a while. 
If your food level stays over a certain amount, you run faster, by the way, Noodle. I don't know if you knew that or not. Um, you can see up in the top corner. Well, since I'm using a mouse, I can water a lot faster than you can <laughs> on the controller. Because uh, when you're using a mouse, you can just stand in the center of like a nine, a three by three plot, and then you can just water all the spots. It's actually really nice. It's the one thing I like about using a controller, or I'm sorry, about playing on keyboard and mouse more than, than controller. You're back. What have you missed? Not a whole lot. We just did some exploring. You missed some of the new parts of town. Um, you've missed Noodle standing in a chest for 20 minutes. Um, but that's about it, really. <laughs> we're still we're still working on meeting people and whatnot. I went over a couple of the mods that we have installed. Just simple stuff like that. No big deal. Uh, yes, uh, we're going to today. We're going to meet people, and I'm going to go get my fishing rod. You should probably get your fishing rod too at some point, love. <laughs> She's she's in the she's in the background yelling. I know again, no one can hear her or see what she's doing, but she's she's in the background yelling right now. Why was she standing in a chest? Because she's kind of slow to do anything. <laughs> Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. You as well, sir. You as well. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Okay, your coughing does come up on stream, so, like, if you cannot cough so loud. She is the loudest cougher known to man. Like, it is ridiculous. You legit thought this dude was drunk? Uh, he might be. What about it? She was yelling just a second ago, Noodle in the background. One of her favorite things to do is uh, go through people's trash cans. And they moved the trash cans ever so slightly in this mod. So she was freaking out because she couldn't see the trash cans. You didn't hear it? Oh, good. Maybe it didn't come up then or come over the mic. I looked over and my, my bar was up a little bit. But maybe it was just taking a moment to go down after I stopped talking. I don't know. There's got water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Gross. <laughs> Anyways, we got a fishing pole. So, that's cool. Um, Something like that. Another one of my personal favorite mods is if you're holding a fishing pole, this thing pops up up here and shows you all the different fish that you can catch. And the uh, the percentage for them, which I just freaking love. Also, my mouse is broken. Sometimes it double clicks. So, yeah, it makes things like fishing a little bit harder than usual. Hey there, Noodle. Uh, goodbye, Noodle. Noodle loves fishing. It's uh, her second favorite thing to do in the entire game. I'm joking. She hates fishing. Actually despises it. I don't know why. But, no, a lot of people find fishing to be very hard in this game for some reason. I uh, don't personally see it, but like it's not easy, but it's not meant to be easy, you know. You're you're fishing. Yes, I took a diggy spot. See, whenever we play together on the Switch, I usually take care of like the farm, basically, like the farming. I mean, and then she does like all of the foraging and uh, takes care of the animals and stuff like that. Because, again, she just, she hates farming for some reason. But she loves finding random stuff. Um, going through people's trash, foraging, digging up things, stuff like that. This game has your favorite fishing game by far, Optijack? Same, honestly. Like, the only other option of acceptable fishing minigame is, like, Animal Crossing and shit. Where you just cast, and then you wait 20 minutes, and then you click a button. Like... I would rather actually have the little active component to it. I think it's nice. I don't know why people complain about it so much. It's meant to be a little bit challenging, and whenever you, like, whenever you level up in the skill, you get better at it, and it gets easier. Like, it's it's a good system, honestly. I, I really like it, but a lot of people do complain about it. Uh, an essential mod, as far as I'm concerned, is the UI Info Suite mod. I briefly mentioned it earlier. 
but you can see like the sell price of stuff. You see how uh, the anchovy when I hover over it here has a little chest icon. That means that in order for, to get 100% completion in the game, you need to ship that item. And I haven't shipped it yet. Once I ship one of those, that will disappear, which is just massively useful. Another mod I really like is this uh, to-do list here. So if I need to do something like, uh, what's something I need to do? I can't uh, uh, catch a catfish. Catch a cat fish. I can I can put a little thing up here that'll tell me to do that. And I can have it only show whenever it's raining on the farm because I happen to know that catfish only appear when it's raining. <clears throat> and what's that? You don't know when catfish appear. You just know that you need one. Hold shift, press F1, and then you can search for catfish. There you go. Look at that. So now it's like having the entire wiki at your fingertips. This is the look up anything mod. Very cool. The rest of that stuff, um, the stuff here, whenever you hover over things, that's the UI info suite. And then this is the to-do mod. All very, very good mods that don't really change the game. They're just quality of life stuff that I recommend for literally everyone. I don't care if you're a first time player, if, uh, if, if you've played the game a thousand times, I think they're all amazing mods that, uh, that should be downloaded. I think Noodle's crying. What are you crying about, Noodle? <laughs> There's trash. All the trash cans that are uh, normally in the game are still here. They're just moved a little bit. Which uh, which ones are missing? Do you think? It's uh, on the side of the house instead of at the bottom of the house. The one at the blue. The Jojo Mart one. I don't remember honestly. I don't remember if the Jojo Mart one's still there or not. I'm pretty sure there's one there okay well you also just said she's telling me that it's not there uh you also just told me that the one for the blue house isn't there and it is it's there <laughs> i've played this mod a fair few times it's just on the side instead of in the front oh my god she's making random noises now anyways though how's everyone doing tonight man optijack always good to see you in stream bro appreciate that Rue, I see you said that your uh, Hero Clicks game was pretty fun. I saw that as it was uh, scrolling through. I didn't get a chance to say anything, but uh, I'm glad you had fun with it. Did it end up being like how? How does it work? Like how? You know, just just what is it? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to. There you go. I'm just gonna say I'm trying to talk to Grandma, not talk to you, Harvey. Harvey's the town doctor. Um, everybody has visits that they do to him. They are on a calendar, but you can't really see it. That's the help wanted board. Um, so you can take little quests for people. And if you complete the quests for people, it makes them happy, um, which raises their, uh, their, their, you know, whatever you want to call it, social bar, their love you meter. I don't know. I click through this stuff because I've seen this text so many times, but I guess I should actually kind of read it for you guys or at least let it display on screen. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Uh, breathe in. Uh, breathe out. <laughs> they uh, they have an exercise day once a week. Oh, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Marnie smiles at you through a mist of sweat. Gross. Ooh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. My arms are strong, but my legs need work. Hello, you must be Stream, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Don't look, I'm all red and sweaty. This is a new character from the mod, Olivia. Oh my, aren't you a cutie? Welcome to the valley, dear. It's so exciting when someone new moves in. Olivia is concentrating on her yoga form. Uh, one small warning though, for anyone that does decide to play the game, there is some uh, OptiJack, I'm just 99% sure that you like the mommy type at this point. Like, <laughs> I think I think we know what you're into. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, <laughs> um, should I forget what I was saying now? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. So no, what I was saying. Um, for anyone who does decide to play this game, though, small warning. The game does sometimes uh, cover adult themes um, that can be a bit of a trigger for people. Um, it covers them tastefully, I feel like. 
but it doesn't change the fact that they do happen. Um, I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. You too. I don't really like Elliot, to be honest. Milf, you mean? I mean, Milf is like, hey, I'm uh, whatever your name is, Sam, I think. I sell different dishes each week, so make sure and check in every now and then. You might taste something spectacular. You got me, said Alpha Jack. Yeah. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mom says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. What? Giggle. <laughs> Weird ass girl. Like the town drunk? That's Pam. Pam's the town drunk. Uh, hello there. Welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Cool Offices. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for you dis or for display. I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? I thought it was that one dude. Which one? The one that wasn't in the bar that I was looking for? Because that's the guy that I was, uh, that's the guy that runs the bar that I was looking for. I'm Victor. It's a pleasure to meet you. Stream, isn't it? Yep. That's me, all right. I forgot to see if Clint was home. Uh, Gus is his name. The, the one that runs the bar. That's who I was looking for at the bar. Er, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Clint is a bit, uh... Clint is a bit weird. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a bit weird, man. He can be a little bit stalkerish sometimes. I think he means well, but it doesn't change the fact that he kind of is. This is a new character. Hey there, you're that owner of Streaming Farm. My manager held a meeting about you. I work part-time at Jojo Mart. Or, er, forgot what I said about that meeting. I could get in trouble. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. Victor kind of cute. Martin kind of cute. <laughs> The uh, one of the uh, let's players that I that I watch streamer slash let's players uh, Charlie Barley I think her name is something like that. Um, she really likes Victor. Like she fell in love as soon as she saw him. It's Farmer Stream. Welcome to the Valley. My name is Morris, manager of Jojo Mart. If you need a cheap quality seeds, there's no better place than Jojo Mart. What's uh Noodle has a question. What's your question, love? How do I find out how many people that I met? You press select. You're welcome. She doesn't know how to use an Xbox controller, like, at all. <laughs> Morris is definitely not cute. Morris isn't really meant to be, like, someone that you befriend. In the original game, like, Vanilla, Morris is just a, uh... Is just a person, like, there. You can't interact with him at all other than to, like, buy a membership. You can't give him gifts or do anything with him. Uh, but they gave him his own kind of storyline and, you know, character traits and everything in the mod so that you can actually befriend him and shit if you if you want to. So that's kind of neat, I guess. I also can't help but notice that we're starting to get hungry. Um, we've, we're spending a lot of time running around right now because we're trying to, you know, meet everyone and whatnot. But in the early game with the mods, we really need to focus a little bit on uh getting food <laughs> so we don't die this is noodles favorite character sebastian she just yelled in the background um sebastian just kind of chills in his room all day programming um and he's very emo so <laughs> gamer dude yeah greetings i'm demetrius local scientist and father thanks for introducing yourself <laughs> she's still complaining about the trash can over there i had to point it out to her i'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory have you met my daughter maru she's interested to meet you you don't say uh i would love to go back and show you sh uh, sebastian the problem is he's in his room and the way the game works you're not allowed into people's private spaces until you're at at least two hearts with them of friendship um but thankfully he came out so here we go oh you just moved in right Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? The uh, feels. That's kind of neat, actually, the, the room thing. Yeah, I agree. It's a nice mechanic, and uh, it plays into, or it gives you a sense of progression, too, because you can, you know, unlock new things, find new things, stuff like that. Fuck, he's hot. <laughs> Noodle was back there yelling yes whenever you said that. A stranger? Hello. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. 
that's my favorite character in the whole game. Like, you can't marry Linus, but Linus is my favorite. He's he's really chill. I like that guy. Uh, who else do I need to meet? Let's see. Socials. Um, okay, so this person works part-time at the thing. Pam's the town drunk, so I can... Pro oh, fuck. I forgot to meet Grandpa. Uh, Grandpa's grandson. Can't meet them yet. So, okay. Got to go, gotta go meet Grandpa and the town drunk. I'm sure the town drunk will still be at the bar, so that should be easy. Grandpa's house, I don't remember what time it closes. I'm going to try and meet everybody ASAP. Tomorrow, I think I'm probably going to spend most of the day fishing because we are... Uh, I don't know about Noodle back there, but I'm a hungry boy. <laughs> she also said she's hungry. Yeah, I don't really have any food either. We have those, uh, we have spring onions. We could eat some of the spring onions if we need to. Um, you should only eat the food and stuff whenever you need energy, unless you're gonna, like, die of hunger. <laughs> Sebastian was by the lake. He might not be by the time you find him, but... Oh, I already talked to you. There's Shane. I can talk to them real quick. Here's the town drunk. Hey, kid, the name's Pam. Hey, Gus, give me another round. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, wait, no, it's not Shane that I need to meet. It was uh, the football dude. Granny and uh, Gramps' grandson. He's not here. Sometimes they, like, play pool over there off to the side. Um, so I was hoping he'd be there, but he's not. You can play some of these arcade machines, by the way. The one the mod adds you can't seem to play, which is kind of annoying. But you can play Journey of the Prairie King, which is... Uh, which is fun. It's a it's a hard game. <laughs> um, but you can play it. Like, okay, she a drunk, but I think you were thinking. Oh, you were thinking of Shane. Yeah, Shane is uh, also a drunk, um, and kind of an ass until you really get to know him. But like, he he's had a hard go of it, and uh, he's one of the characters that a lot of the adult themes end up uh, being about. Because uh, they talk about his alcoholism and, uh, spoiler alert, he suffers from some major depression. Um, and uh, he's also, he takes care of Jas, the little girl. That's his uh, goddaughter that he uh, has because his best friends died, both of them, in a car crash, if I remember correctly. Uh, which plays majorly into his drinking and depression, so, yeah. Yeah. Good stuff, man. It's, uh, like I said, there's some uh, adult themes in the game. And, uh, yeah. It is rough sometimes. The game knows how to hit you in the feels, dude. <laughs> Ouch, says Rue. Yeah. Uh, this is another one of those cases where, like, when you're playing single player, this is relatively easy. Or, I'm sorry, not easy, but you have a lot of time to do this. Um, cause time's normally frozen while you're playing this game, right? But whenever you're in multiplayer, not so much. I don't think, at least. Although, looking at the time up there, it's been 9.30 for quite a while. <laughs> so maybe time is for- no, there it goes. 9.40, okay. It just must be moving slower than the normal. But anyways, thankfully you can pause that arcade machine. You can also play this one here, um, but you have to unlock the ability to play it. You can't just play it by default. So, there's that. Early game, this is one of the best places to get food. He has a random recipe every day down here at the bottom. And then he also sells, a, or I'm sorry, a random food item at the bottom. Uh, he also sells a bunch of recipes, and then he has his normal selection of things. Salad is the best bang for your buck, generally speaking. But then tortillas, though. 100 for 50 energy. Um, or 220 for 113. So I think technically... These tortillas are cheaper, so I'm gonna I'm gonna buy myself a noodle, a tortilla <laughs> that we'll have for breakfast tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> if you get under a certain amount of food, you do start to take damage, so we do have to be a little bit careful about that. But yeah, you're pretty close. Um, you're already slowed down, so if you look in the top right corner of the screen, near where the clock and things are. That's where, like, effects show up. I don't have any right now for the stream to see, but, uh, Noodle, if you look up there, you should be able to see 
that you're currently slowed. Um, that's why you're moving so slowly is because, yeah, you're starting to starve. <laughs> so I think we should probably go to bed. Um, yeah, your wood and your geodes and stuff. You got it. <laughs> geodes may be her single favorite thing. They're just rocks that you can take to the blacksmith and he'll smash open for you. And uh, you get whatever's inside. So. She just called me a bitch. I just want everyone to know how mean she is to me. Noodle smash. <laughs> Hurry up and get to bed before you starve to death. Noodle. <laughs> She's back there begging to be fed. Cool, we got 30 whole dollars. We spent $200 on food, and we made 30. We're, we're doing well. <laughs> um, okay, real quick, Noodle. Don't do anything. Beca because um, Okay, well, you can watch the TV if you want, but don't do anything else because I just stopped time. Time is not going to move. And the reason I stopped time is because with Stardew Valley... Um, Time kind of keeps moving normally, you know? Gameplay sort of keeps moving, or while you're playing it, time keeps moving. Point is, I can't just stop the game anytime I want to take an ad break. So it's a it's a few minutes earlier than I would normally take an ad break, but we kind of got to do it because uh, otherwise it's going to happen in the middle of the day. So I'm going to put a pause in it there. We'll be back in like two, three-ish minutes, guys. No. Um, there were actually, like, before the Connect on Xbox or the uh, whatever it was called on PlayStation Move or whatever, there actually was, like, a camera that you could use to play games on the PlayStation 2. Like, you could use your body as a controller, like the big Connect thing. Um, and then you could also, like, scan in your face for, for some games and things like that. And uh, it seems like they had some sort of thing like that here. What is a uh... franchise? Oh, okay. Franchises are nice ladders let's try uh let's do a career real quick i'll be uh i'll be joe random i'm uh i'm an old dude how old can you be okay okay i was gonna be like 99 or something i guess i'll just be you know my age uh sure yep jersey number uh it doesn't really matter I remember those my dad picked one up for us to all mess with. Oh, you guys had a one? I, I played around with one at like a Walmart before or something like that, but um Yeah. I did I, I never owned one though. Uh left field, center field, right field. I, I don't know what SP is. I don't know what C P is. <laughs> First base, second base, third base. Uh sure. Uh, and then let's do Let's do, uh, I'd rather not be on out in the field. Let's do first base. I don't know. Right hand, bat hand, left. That's, yeah, that's actually right. You would think I would remember more of this. I did actually play baseball growing up in, like, Little League, um, but I have forgotten, like, all of this stuff. Um, I don't think they're going to have a dude with, like, a really long beard option, so I guess just full beard. Just normal. Sure, this looks good. Yep, beautiful. Oh wait. There's more. Okay. <laughs> there's more there's a lot of options on here, okay? Dad used to be big into PS2. Yep. And my uh my stepdad was too. He uh He still plays the PS2 from time to time. Uh generic. Oh you can pick baseball players. If I if I knew anything about baseball, that would probably be really cool. Um I don't know any of these guys. Nope. Okay, there is a lot of them. Holy crap. I just wanted to go back to generic, but um, <laughs> how far do you have to go to get to the generic? Holy crap, is it every pitcher in history here? There we go. Uh, generic too, sure. I mean, we can't hear the music, but uh, let's do some modern rock, man. Shoot, that's right. Okay. Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Noodle. 
Thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. And for the resub earlier. I said thank you in chat, but I'll say thank you in person as well. Uh, let's unpause the game first. There we go. Now I'll feed you. Here you go. A single tortilla. That's what you get for breakfast. <laughs> I wouldn't eat it until you do a little bit of work unless, like... Well, I mean, you are starving, so maybe it would be better to just eat it now. Uh, we don't have... Uh, Noodle just asked what happened to one of our parsnips. We don't have scarecrows. And when you don't have when you don't have scarecrows in this game, they get eaten. So, um, yeah, that's that's a thing. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> you're at 18 of 28. 18 of 28. What? I don't know what you mean, Nate. I apologize. 18 of 28 meat. Um, what'd you say, Noodle? Who else do you need to meet? I, I need to meet Grandpa still. But... Okay, so you can catch a catfish in the river anytime while it's raining. So that's what I'm going to do. You keep thinking your footsteps are an animal in your hunting game? <laughs> I've never played it. He uh, OptiJack mentioned to him earlier that he's playing Hunting Call of the Wild. Or Hunter Call of the Wild. But I've never played it. One of these days I will. Oh, people you've met in Stardew Valley. Yeah, you should really meet everyone, man. It helps uh, push the game forward, and you get, like, bonuses for it and stuff. Yeah, you still need Noodles met a lot less. Um, <laughs> I don't remember exactly what they said. I got 29 of 31, so I'm pretty much done. I just need to wait until 7.30 so I can meet Grandpa and Grandpa's kid. I think that's it. So this is the uh, this is my life now fishing. It's not a very lucky day, so my chance to catch the fish are pretty low. But my goal is to get the uh, the catfish because I know that's a rain only uh, springtime fish. There's probably some other ones as well, like spring only raining ones, but I don't know them off the top of my head. So fuck, I really need to fix my mouse, man. <laughs> It's annoying the shit out of me. Tis some of the most beautiful 3D landscapes you've ever seen in a video game? Really? Holy shit, dude. So one of these days I'll have to check it out. I remember growing up, uh, we used to play like those Cabela's hunting games, and they were fun. So I imagine if I liked those, that uh, like Hunter Car of the Wild would probably be decent enough. Is it like anything like that though, or is it completely different? This is so much better, though. I mean, I figured it would be better than... Oh, my God. I clicked it, but my stupid mouse is broken. <sighs> and anywhere... Uh, Noodle's asking if there's anyone to meet down here. I don't know what down here means. South of the farm? Like, directly below the farm? Is that what you're asking, Noodle? If you're asking... Uh, yeah, there's Andy, the farmer, Sophia, um, down into the right. No, that's the normal one. You got to go down farther. And yeah, and that's where Andy and Sophia both are. Like where you normally get spring onions from. Well, you normally get spring onions from the same place in this map and then the, the vanilla map. I love how that was like the least common of the fish. And I got that instead of the fucking fish that I'm going for. Same with the trash. The trash is a 15% chance. And I've gotten more trash than I have any of the fish. Like, <laughs> it's bullshit, man. See, and the thing is, like, this game, or this mod, actually simulates fishing a couple hundred times a, a second or whatever. So, like, these numbers are actually very accurate. I'm just getting extremely unlucky. Hunter Call of the Wild is more realistic than the older ones. Like, the red glowing dot that shows you where animals are and whatnot are gone. The maps are much larger as well. Okay, okay. Does it have a multiplayer aspect to it? What game was I looking at? Oh, I know a game that I that I want to play on stream. Um, and I would love it if you could join OptiJack. But I don't know how we would do it. Because uh, you don't have a PS5. It's probably cross-gen. But I don't know if you uh, would be interested in buying it or not. Um, there's the catfish, which I'm very happy for. I shouldn't do any more fishing because my inventory's full. So I need to go dump stuff. 
Um, it is multiplayer. Can have up to twelve players. That's sick. Uh, fuck. What's it called? The quarry is the the name of it. I had never heard of it until a customer bought it at work today, and it's like a uh, a horror game. Um, basically, it's like Friday the the thirteenth style thing, right? Like it's a bunch of teenagers at a campground or whatever, and uh, murders start happening. And it's the uh, the type of game, it's like a story-based game where, you know, options pop up and shit like that. And uh, you have to make decisions, and depending on what you pick, different things will happen. It's that style of game. And uh, I really, I really want to play it ever since I've seen it. Okay, so I have to ship one of each of those. I'm going to do that. This is the layout that I like to have my stuff in. That's why I put it here. But honestly, like, I don't need to carry around all these tools right now. So I guess as much as it pains me... <laughs> To put them away, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to put them away. Oh yeah, it's on PC. Oh, I didn't even see that it was on PC. That's sick. Okay. So yeah, maybe we'll uh, pick it up on PC or something like that if you're interested in getting it. Because I saw that it was multiplayer, and I think that'd be a lot of fun to play, whether it's on stream or just uh, or just off stream. If people want to see that, let me know. I'll try to uh, get the money together to get it at least for myself. The quarry is what it's called. If people want to check it out. Here's, okay, we don't really have money for that. So fried mushrooms. $400. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be buying that right now there, Gus. Um, what can I do? I need to meet Grandpa still. So let's go meet Grandpa real quick. Go through these trash cans before Noodle Can to make her mad. Uh, there's Grandpa's grandson. I forget his name. Alex. Hmm, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now, buzz off. I fucking love Grandpa. Yes, Evelyn is in here. Noodle was asking him. There you go. I met everyone now, thankfully. Uh, the next thing I have to do is give someone a gift. Um, let's see. Do you like fish? <laughs> you wouldn't mind playing it off the jack? Dope. Like I said, we'll have to... Uh, I wonder, I wonder, I'm pretty sure it has local co-op, so if I buy it on PC, we could use Steam Play, maybe, as long as that works okay while I'm streaming. Because with Steam Play, for anyone who doesn't know, you can play local multiplayer games, um, if only one person has the game on Steam, because it just streams the game to the other player, which is a really cool feature that Steam has, uh, but obviously it uses, you know, your, your internet bandwidth. So I'm not sure how well that would work while I'm also streaming, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. Okay, I need to find out... I mean, I guess I, I don't... I'm not trying to go for, like, year one completion, so I don't really need to worry about it that much, I guess. But I kind of want to catch the other fish that are unique to springtime. And uh, while it's raining, it's like... Different weather have different spawns for, for fish and things like that. So, like, springtime raining is kind of the time to catch, you know, certain fish. And then fall time raining is the time to catch certain fish, etc. But, whatever, it's fine, I guess. Another shad. And I guess I'll give a shad to someone. I'm Willie likes basically every fish. So I think what I'm going to do... Oh, dope, we just leveled up, too. I think what I'm going to do is go down and try and find Willy, because I'll give him a gift to advance that quest, and then also, I can uh, fish here at the ocean, because there's a few fish there that you can probably see that I haven't gotten out of the ocean yet. Did you say something, Noodle? What did you say? Oh, thank you for the follow, Tessa T. Uh, okay, so we'll give him a fish. I don't really... Well, that one we need to sell. We uh, To get the completion on that. So we'll just give him that, and then we'll take that one back there. But since we're already down here, might as well just do... God, I really need to fix my mouse, man. That's ridiculous. <laughs> the reason why, like, it casts sometimes and then pulls it back instantly is because my mouse, like, double, triple clicks sometimes. And you use the left click to cast you like hold it down and then uh let it go for how strong you want to cast but since you're double double or triple clips yeah fucking can't talk tonight double or triple clicks it'll just like instantly cast it and then pull it back in it's kind of annoying 
Okay. Uh, Noodle, a little tip for you. If you, one of the mods I'm running shows you where everyone's at on the map. So if you still need to meet people and you can't find them, you could try checking the map. I know you were trying to ask me, but I couldn't hear you that well. I apologize, love. <laughs> if you go fishing, you could get, like, uh, seaweed and stuff to eat. Uh, I know you don't like fishing, but I mean... We have, uh, in the chest, we have some spring onions and things. You could eat those since you're starving a little bit. Uh, before I eat that, have I shipped one yet? I have. Good. Thank you. Uh, you just open up the inventory, just like you do on Switch, to get to the map. You just press start, and then... Yeah. Hello. Sebastian. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna fish a little bit here next to you. I should... Uh, before Willy closes, I should sell him something. That way, Noodle and I... 30, yeah, that'll be enough. That way, Noodle and I can buy a salad. Oh, crap. If I make it there in time. Ah, uh, literally just closed, man. Um, well, Noodle, since you're having a harder time with food than I am, if you want to get a salad from the bar, you can do that. You're okay. <laughs> She's fishing, trying to get seaweed, I guess. <laughs> or she just ate a seaweed from fishing. Come on, fish. There you go. Oh, nope. Okay, my mouse didn't want to didn't wanna pick it. That's okay. Oh, there we go. I got 100 gold for giving someone a gift. I forgot that you get money for that. Oh, but I can catch an eel. Uh, decisions, decisions. I'm going to try and catch the eel instead. 23% chance. Come on, hook it. Please hook it. B -b -p Please. Just anything, maybe. Seaweed. Okay. Well, I mean, it's food, I guess, because I am, I am pretty hungry. I'm not gonna lie. It's getting down there. I'm not starving yet, at least. But it's getting, it's gonna be soon. Oh, new fish. That's uh, that's good, I guess. It's not the eel, which is what I was hoping to get. Herring. Oh, noodle starving again. Oh, and there you go. It just triggered for me the starving thing did. It's not like starving to the point of, uh, like, taking damage, but minus two speed. So walking around like this all the time would be extremely annoying. Oh, Noodle's starting to take damage. She's actually starving. <laughs> I w oh, man. I wish you guys could see uh, her screen. That's hilarious. Uh, flounder. Okay, that's relatively rare. So, I mean, I'm happy to get it, but it's still not the freaking eel that I wanted. I should have kept the catfish instead of selling it probably but I can I can try to get another one just because uh, there's a chance it'll be in the the community center so the community center isn't something we've unlocked yet but we should hopefully be getting it I forget exactly what day I want to say the fifth day that it unlocks anyways uh, there's a bunch of stuff that you can give to the little sprites at the community center um, and they give you rewards for completing bundles as well as fixing things up around the town if you if you complete enough bundles in a set. Um, I have it randomized, so I don't know exactly what's going to be in the bundle, but there's a chance that catfish and other rain exclusive fish could be in there. So it would have been a decent idea to keep one, but I mean, it had to be shipped anyways if we we're going to try and ship everything eventually. So I guess, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't. eat the seaweed because we are getting hungry again. I know you guys can't hear her behind me, but Noodle is having a rough time of it, man. She still needs to meet four people, and that's just the worst thing in the world. <laughs> she, she's really struggling back there, guys. <laughs> she's mad that she has to eat food in order to survive. 
Eel? Yes, eel. Okay, I'm level one though. Can I catch the eel at level one? Um, maybe actually. It's. I thought the eel was a harder to catch fish, to be honest, but nope, that wasn't too bad. Um, is there any fish I can eat? I kind of hate to eat the fish the way they are, just because they don't give a shit ton of energy. Especially these cheap fish, they're much better to turn into like sashimi or something like that. Um, but we, uh, we don't have any way to cook it yet, <laughs> so what'd you say, Noodle? What is? Oh. Uh, I don't think we've sold one of those yet, so unless you need to eat it or something, go ahead and sell that one. Put it in the, uh, the shipping bin, I mean. Oh, this is the last fish. The halibut, I think it is, if I remember correctly. Oh, come on. Thank you. Yep, halibut. Cool. I'm gonna go ship all this stuff, and then we're probably going to head to bed soon, I would imagine. I should probably also get rid of my catch a catfish thing, because that is done zone. Oh, wait, no, actually. Well, okay, I was going to say I need to catch another one, but I guess I don't know if I need to catch another one. It might not be in the bundle. Uh, yes, tomorrow is not raining noodle, so we will have to water tomorrow, assuming that uh we don't want our plants to you know well i guess they wouldn't instantly die but assuming we want our plants to grow <laughs> i want to do more fishing but oh god i got the negative two speed buff i am hungry you passed out on the street nate yeah i've done that too many times honestly <laughs> too many times man Come on, just gotta make it to the chest. Make it to the chest so I can eat some, I don't know, spring onions, probably. See, playing this in multiplayer with the mods that I use, I think actually makes it harder. Um, because there's less forageables for you to eat. I didn't have too hard of a time in it in my single player run, but in my single player run, I, uh... I was able to eat all the forageables in my own time. <laughs> so, you know, not too bad. What'd you say, Noodle? Yes, I just got to throw all the stuff that I haven't shipped yet in the bin. You're actually worth 50. No, we're gonna... Ooh, and one flounder. We'll keep the other flounder in case it ends up being in the community center, which we'll... Uh, Find out shortly, hopefully. Also, throw that junk in there. Okay, it's 12 o'clock. Let's go to bed. That is another way you can get energy in multiplayer. It's a, a neat little thing that they added. As far as I'm aware, it's multiplayer only. But if you run out of energy, but you can't go to sleep for the day because, you know, the other people are still playing, you can just lay down in bed. And whenever you do so, you'll start to regain energy. I'm fairly certain it only works in multiplayer, though, sadly. It'd be cool if they added that to a uh, single player, like an option to just, you know, lay down, take a little nappy nap or something. But <laughs> I guess they probably want people to go into the... Uh... Oh, Noodle got level one mining. Uh, I guess they probably want people to go into the bathhouse that you unlock eventually. And that's why they uh, don't have it in single player as well. I'm assuming. Could be completely wrong on that. Okay, so we are unlucky today. That's good. Hi, Miso Hats. Okay, Poke. <laughs> Come to old, old, old house, Poke. Bring coins, Hat Mouse. <laughs> so, we'll go visit them. I usually just kind of ignore the Hat Mouse, to be honest, but you guys, uh, you guys haven't seen them before, so, yeah. We'll go, we'll go visit the Hat Mouse. Plus, Noodle is back here yelling about wanting a bow. So, I guess, I guess we gotta get them a bow. Which is probably, like, Noodle, by the time you get up here, I'm going to be done. You can just do whatever you want. I can water. I don't mind. No one said that if you don't help, you're going to be kicked off the farm, you weirdo. <laughs> now, for anybody who may be wondering why we have so little planted, um, 
Trust me, I would normally have more, but we have limited ourselves to only having four little plots of anything planted at a time. Unless we have a uh, sprinkler to water it for us. Just to make the game a tiny bit harder, um, but also to ensure there's a bit more variety of what we're doing. And to top it off, Noodle hates watering. <laughs> it's their least favorite thing to do in the game. So, yeah. I think, for me, I'm going to go fishing. Um, I can fish right here on the farm. I probably didn't need to cast that far. But we have a 30% chance of getting a carp, question mark, and a 3% chance to get, I'm pretty sure that's a minnow. Minnow is a fish that I think was added in in the mod. I'm... I'm I'm pretty sure it was added in in the uh, the mods that I used. It's a uh, smallmouth bass. I mean, it's it's a fish, I guess. Is it good to eat? 25 energy. I mean, it's something. Better than better than nothing. Uh, yes, noodle. I think there is a geode if you uh, want to turn that in. Ooh, a sunfish. Uh, oh, that must be the one that Noodle caught, because it's already been sold. So whenever you're fishing, uh, I didn't know this for a long time, but whenever you're fishing, if you get a perfect, it not only increases the chance of it being like silver, gold, or iridium. Um, in fact, I think it can only be irid iridium if you get perfect but it also gives you a experience multiplier. So you gain a fishing experience quicker if you get perfect on it as well. Uh, perfect is whenever the fish never leaves the little green bar. This is a treasure chest. Uh, you catch it like you do a fish, but you still have to catch the fish to be able to get whatever comes out of it. Um, so it adds a little bit of, you know, a little bit of... Yes, yeah, so I ate all the onions. Um, here, would you like to eat a smallmouth bass? Yeah. Why wouldn't it be okay to eat? There's also two more uh, geodes in the chest for you. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think, honestly, instead of eating the smallmouth bass and sunfish and stuff, I think... I I think I'm going to just sell them and buy a salad. Because I'm pretty sure that's more cost effective doing it that way. We also really need a, uh, whatchamacallit, a scarecrow so the crows stop eating our crops. What did you say, Noodle? I need a salad. I mean, you can buy yourself a salad if you want. We have some money. Okay, well, buy yourself a salad when you're done doing geodes. That minnow's gonna be... Oh, you left trash all over the farm. <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> you. Wood and sap everywhere. Yo, oh, double click. Picked up more stuff than I wanted. Uh, craft another chest. I, I go back and forth on whether I like the revamped crafting recipes um that it has the the mod has I mean, you can disable it if you don't like it but i usually leave it turned on whenever i'm playing with the mod but i go back and forth on it simply because it taking 100 wood to build a chest is so painful in the early game was that a squeak in fame or a cat squeaking a squeak in fame You'll have to you'll have to tell me what you meant there, Rue. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a little bit confused on what you're asking. A squeak in fame or a cat squeaking? Game. A squeak in game or a cat squeaking? Got it. Yeah, I figured it out. I figured it out before the message came up. Anyways, uh, it, it had to have been in game. I didn't hear it personally, but uh, like noodles talking loud behind me. And you guys can't hear her, so I don't think there's any way you would hear a uh, a cat squeaking IRL here. <laughs> like, <laughs> you love Dusty. Dusty's a good boy. 
Dusty sadly is only in the mod. Well, okay, that's not true. He is in the 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 original game, but you can't really interact with him. You can only interact with him uh, in the the mod really, and then a couple cutscenes in the in the base game, which is very sad, honestly. Uh, excuse me, Gus. I would like to buy things. If you don't mind hurrying up and getting down here to the bar. Thank you kindly. Uh, I see Noodle is donating stuff. Must have got some neat things from the, uh... From the geodes there. She's back behind me saying, yeah. <laughs> Dusty is your favorite character now and you will die for them. Very nice. There we go. Eat a couple salads and we are good to go. Noodle says, wait until we get our cat. That'll be your new favorite character. Too bad I don't think you get any cutscenes with the cat like you do Dusty, though. Did you buy your salad, Noodle? Oh. <laughs> you can buy two salads if you want. That should. Two salads should basically get you back up to full. It's just you? Yes, Sophia. It's it's just me. <laughs> Sorry, I get startled easily. We can tell. Um, hey, you're kind of new to farming, so... Um, I want to give you a device as my way of welcoming you to the valley. Follow me to my storage chest. Here, it's a sprinkler. It'll automatically water adjacent crops every day. You received a quality sprinkler. Um, I have an order ledger in my cosplay room. If you need more, you can purchase sprinklers from me. Thanks, dude. They're like 4,000 gold, though. Which, I mean, in the early game, having access to sprinklers at all is pretty nice. But also, 4,000 gold is a lot. So, probably not going to be making too big of use of the sprinklers right away. But we'll definitely be putting down the one that I was given. And if Noodle ever gets that cutscene than uh, the one that they get. Cosplay? Yes, yeah, she's a cosplayer. Uh, as far as I've gotten in the mod, I've, I haven't gotten that far. I've only ever gotten to like summer or midsummer-ish. Um, but as far as I've gotten, I've never seen her do any cosplay in game of any kind. But, um, but yeah, apparently she's a cosplayer, so that's kind of neat. Mumble mumble, yeah? <laughs> I would tell you about my thoughts, but it's a fisherman's secret. You're supposed to be up in four hours, IRL, Nate, I'm assuming. Crazy idea. Go to bed. <laughs> uh, just an idea, man. You do you, of course. Uh, we have a little bit of time. Well, actually, the clouds look great this time of year, don't they? Uh, before we... I was going to show you another area of the... Uh, map that's added exclusively for the mod and i still will uh grandma's baking cookies that's cool but before we do that since we got the sprinkler we'll be planting another eight crops so i should probably buy eight of something um cauliflower sell for a lot but take a long time to grow uh, eight times eight yeah we we do have enough gold barely uh but i think i think we'll go ahead and plant those because with the sprinkler, I don't have to worry about taking care of it or anything like that. So, I didn't mean to grab that. Just put it away. <laughs> they said yes. Ouch, bro. Yeah, dude, that sucks, man. Like I said, though, seriously, if you <laughs> don't, don't feel like you need to stay up just for the stream. I totally appreciate you being here, but man, you can, <laughs> you can go take a rest if you need to. You know, get some sleep before you got to do whatever you got to do tomorrow. This is one of the uh, new unique areas to the game. You can catch some really high-valued fish here. But honestly, I feel like these fish are harder to catch than a lot of the, uh, the quote-unquote hard fish from the normal game. Including some of the legendary fish. Like, some of these fish are just rough, man. And then this is Grumpleton Fields. This is an a, uh, optional add-on for the mod. It's just a giant field. But the neat thing about it is the entire field is farmable. 
So if you're like late game or whatever and you want to plant just ridiculous amounts of crops or uh, I guess maybe there's a tractor mod. I can't help but assume using that tractor mod would probably be a good mix with that because uh, I've never used it, but I believe the tractor mod allows you to do things like till your fields and uh, and and harvest your crops very quickly and things like that. So for a giant field like that, that would probably come in handy. And then you also have this miniature gardening area here, and uh, you can unlock that a little bit later in the game. It's just, a, again, a little bit more gardening space. I generally find that the business has been slow lately, that the farm itself has enough farming space for me, but I'm also not like a min-maxer most of the time in, Harve in Harvest Moon. Stardew Valley, I mean. Uh, hello there. Andy is ignoring you. That's rude. What'd you say, Noodle? You finally met everybody. Congrats. Now you just got to give someone a gift. We are so close to level two. Let's get, let's get level two real quick. Does Marnie even like stones? I don't think Marnie liked your gift. If she said, oh, I guess I'll take it. <laughs> you gave her a stone though. Oh, I clicked, man. That's annoying me. I could switch over to controller and play with that. Then I wouldn't have to deal with the click issue. But, I don't know. Ooh, there's a fish we haven't got. What is that? Is that a, a bream? Is bream a river fish? I don't remember. My memory is like actual garbage. There we go. Love it up. That's all I was really trying to do. Am I on our farm, she says. No. Oh, wait. Yeah, you're you're she, you're on the farm, Noodle. Sorry, I, I thought you were uh, down by the river somewhere. All right, let's go plant our cauliflower real quick. And then maybe do some lake fishing up by the mountains. So we will, I mean, you don't technically have to water it the first day, but I'm going to water it the first day to jumpstart the growing of the cauliflower here. One, two, three. But yeah, you can see 12 days it takes for them to grow. So it takes a long ass time, but they do sell for a lot of money. The, the profit on them is pretty high, which is a good thing because I mean, you spend 12 fucking days taking care of them. Um, I'm glad I'm picking up random stones and things because somebody, not going to say any names, is leaving garbage all over the farm. Oh, fuck, I better get going myself. I gotta work tomorrow and I'm gonna need all the sleep I can to deal with idiots. Trust me, I know that feeling, man. Know that feeling all too well. <laughs> Have a good night, Rue. Thank you for coming out while you could. Oh, dope. It's actually already showing us the stuff that we can get from the, uh, from the community center, or for the community center. I didn't realize that was popping up already. Now, hopefully that works with the remixed settings. I know whenever they first added remix settings, the UI Info Suite mod didn't have that ability. Like it would just show, even if you were playing with remixed community center bundle, um, it would still just show you the stuff from the base game bundle. Like it was a hard coded value or something. I hope that's something that they fixed. But the uh, single player run that I'm doing currently is my first Joja Mart run, um, modded at that. But anyway, so I'm not 100% certain what goes in the community center in vanilla. So I can't say for sure if you need leeks or wild horseradishes or whatever the case may be. Oh, we got a bullhead. Very cool, I guess. It's a new fish, at least. What else do we have? That's definitely a carp. What is that? I guess we're about to find out, assuming I don't miss it. Oh, it's it's jumping. It's a lively one. Noodle overexerted themselves. You can, uh, well, I mean, I'm getting ready to come. Oh, shit. We're out of inventory space anyways. Wait, no, we're not. I can eat green algae. Eat it. Then we can fish. Um, I'm getting ready to come to bed, but if you want to uh, get a little bit of energy for the night, Noodle, you can lay in bed. Don't forget.
Come on, game. Catch me a fish. There we go. Um, well, that's green algae. Okay, I give up. Oh, but there's only one more, and it's 26% chance. I keep going back and forth on it, but no, we're going to do it. Catch the damn fish. The carp, I'm pretty sure. Just, just give it to me. Give me the carp. That's all I want in my life. Oh my god, not green algae. I've had enough of green algae. No, we're not even facing the right way. Turn. <laughs> Please, fingers crossed. Just, it's a 26% chance. It's a lot higher than green algae. I don't know why we keep getting so much damn green algae. There we go. Thank goodness. Catch, catch it, catch it. There we go. Carp. I thought so. All right, now time to pretty much sell all the fish we caught. Yeah. All of them are needed for the shipping thing. But none of them say they're needed for the bundle. I wonder... Maybe the mod doesn't know what's needed for the bundle until it's unlocked, but then why would it be telling me what's needed for spring foraging? Although, with that said, I guess there's only so much spring foraging you can do, so maybe it just, uh... Yeah, because since it's such a limited thing, maybe it just knows that you're going to need all of the spring foraging for the bundles. That could be what's going on, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, I made a tool chest, by the way, Noodle. I don't know if you noticed or not, but... Okay. I guess I'll put a leak in here, since we need a leak for spring foraging, apparently. And then... I'll keep this leak for food and sell everything else, because leaks are really good food. It's also Grandpa's, like, favorite thing in the world, are leaks. I hope we unlock the ability to make a scarecrow soon. I think our parsnips will grow tomorrow. I didn't check to see how many days were left on them, but should be getting pretty close. Noodle leveled up their foraging. Hell yeah, dude. That means you can make those uh, energy bars out of seeds. That's a pretty good food early on. It takes, uh, I think it's one maple seed, one pine cone, and one whatever the other tree type is. You just mix those three together, and there you go. Hey, look at that. Our parsnips grew, and we got a kitty. Hello, stream. You see this cat here? Meow. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray, poor little thing. I think it likes this place. Hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good cat? Yes, we'll adopt it. What do you want its name to be, Noodle? Uh, Truffy. Frello? Tromo? Did you say shrimp? Okay, I guess we have shrimp the cat. <laughs> well, little shrimp, <laughs> you'd be a good kitty now, okay? <laughs> Sounds like you're being mean to the cat. Well, now, you little shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. Hey, level one farming. Dope. And we also got our quest done. Hello, stream. My name is Susan. Lewis told me you're a new farmer in town. I'm trapped on my farm in the mountains, so I can't say hi in person. Hopefully the mess Jojo made will be cleared out soon, because I'm going a little stir-crazy. Can't wait to meet you and see how the farm is shaping up. Signed, Susan. To our value Jojo Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation. As always, remember this was a completely legal operation. Absolutely nothing fishy going on there. Uh, we're going to sell our parsnips because... Yeah. Yeah. So we... Uh, Pierre's. Sell them at Pierre so that we can get the money today so that we can buy more stuff. I should have tilled the soil and uh, watered it before I came all the way over here because Pierre's doesn't open for another hour. <laughs> so, hi, uh, part-time worker at Jojo Mart. How are you? Claire, that's your name. I'm a little busy right now. Maybe we can talk later? Mm, rude. Ooh, a leek. And a dandelion. More good food. Dandelion for dandelion salads. Leeks for, well, leeks. Might as well 
till that, and then watering can me, please. Water the hell out of it, man. There we go. Mm. Look at that go. The watering hole is not down there anymore, love. <laughs> Beside the house. On the left side. On the left side. That's the right side. Noodle doesn't know they're left and right all that well. <laughs> then uh, if you know you're left and right, why were you going to the right? when I said left. Oh yeah, you were looking at the doghouse, she says. Yeah, she just doesn't know her left and right, guys. It's fun. We love her anyways. <laughs> what crop should we buy or crops, Noodle? Do you have any uh, preferences? Oh, hi there. Yes, hi there. I, uh, I'm trying to go to the shop, actually. Mr. Lewis, sir. What an eyesore. Noodle thought it said Eeyore. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it, anyway. Yeah, it looks a little jank, dude. It used to be... It used to be the pride and joy of this town. Always bustling with activity. Bustling. Now just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Jojo Corporation has been hand hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Oh well. If anyone, that, if anyone else buys a Jojo Co. membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it instantly goes and buys a jojo membership joking although i have <laughs> it's sad in my like single player playthrough the uh the community center it has been turned into a warehouse because i am doing a jojo mart playthrough and it just kind of eats me eats me up inside every time i see it man <sighs> let's go inside stream name should have been watch me play stardew and pick on noodle uh i don't know what you're talking about i would never pick on noodle Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jas must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. What the fuck is that, dude? <laughs> what? What's the matter? Are you ill? There was a thing, dude. It's like a, a freaking green little grape dude running around. You saw something? Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. What do you think they look like, Noodle? Apples? They do look like apples. Apples, grapes, fucking, I don't know. Just generic sprite things. <laughs> You're worrying me, stream. God, what did I just get myself into? <laughs> it's like, look, I think I'm gonna head home. I need some lunch. I need to get away from this weird-ass dude, man. Freaking out every time they turn around. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. I think Lewis just wants to get the hell away from us, honestly. I have to come back and explore the building farther. Dot, dot, dot. So, Nate, you've been mentioning that uh, you're playing. How far along are you? Is your controller dying? Did it disconnect? Okay. Well, if it keeps disconnecting, you'll have to plug it in with uh, the wire wherever it's at in the battery pack. Oh, Sophia, hi. Let me say hello. I wanted to look pretty today, so I put on some eyeliner. D do you think it looks okay? Aw, thanks. Uh, Noodle never said what to buy. Um, we got some cauliflower already. Let's get nine potatoes. Also, we'll sell that. Uh, nine kale. 
Nine jazz. Well, it takes 10 days to mature, but keep it. I guess we should get the bean starter. I kind of wish we had another thing, another, uh, whatchamacallit, sprinkler, but Noodle refuses to be friends with... Oh, shit. Noodle, you really need to sell your parsnip so I can... <laughs> so I can buy the rest of the stuff. But Noodle refuses to be friends with Sophia, so we haven't gotten the other sprinkler yet. Just sell your parsnips. Oh, to get the sprinkler, you talk to Sophia. Maybe give her a present. Whatever you want. I don't know what she likes. I doubt she likes sap. I, I'm pretty sure nobody likes sap. Oh my god, love. She's asking if she likes pine cones now. Okay, we only have $500, so... Can we buy eight of these? Eight times six? No. Well, actually... We had just enough. Dope. Okay. The reason I... Oh, wait. No. Fuck. Um, I was going to say the reason why I only bought eight is because with trellises, you can't walk through them to get uh, to get to the center. So there's no point in buying more than eight usually because you wouldn't be able to water them otherwise. But one of the mods that I'm running uh, makes trellises non-collidable? I don't know. <laughs> you can walk through them. <laughs> so, yeah. We're going to, uh, we're going to make use of that and plant all nine instead. One, two, three, four. That's four groups of stuff. We're good. We also need to check crafting recipes here for a scarecrow. Oh, never mind. I thought I had unlocked it, but I guess not. Shit. <laughs> Plant that, plant some kale. Everyone, everyone likes the kale, right? Flowers. Flowers are actually a pretty decent source of food early on. Um, although with salads being a thing, I guess salads are probably the better bet. Just sell your stuff and, and eat salad. Uh, okay, we have a dandelion which i would imagine sophia is probably okay with at least and then a leek which i'm going to give to grandpa because i like grandpa Ooh. oh shit is he giving us strawberry seeds i forgot that's one of the things he gives you if you befriend him like early on <laughs> i can hear noodle chopping stuff in the background clearing the the world oh it's the new farmer how are you doing on this fine sunny day you caught me in the middle of tending to my crops. I'm spreading some new Joja fertilizer on my crop field. I always use Joja fertilizer. It makes my crop stronger and healthier. Sell out. So you're just starting out on streaming farm. I have something for you to help you out. I have some strawberry seeds for you. Fairhaven Farm strawberries have a good reputation in Grampleton and Chestervale. I'll be sending them your way once I had the time. These here crops got me occupied. You have yourself a nice day, stream. Go get some dirt on you. Thanks, man. I made it myself. My accent. She said I like your accent. I keep forgetting you guys can't hear her. What'd I come down here for? Sophia. It's going to give Sophia a dandelion. Because I'm assuming she'll like that. And then... And then a leak to Grandpa. Noodle's complaining because they can't find forageables. I may have already collected them, or you may have already collected them. Maybe they just haven't respawned yet. Things do take a little bit of time to respawn sometimes. Where is Sophia? She's in her room. Lame. Would you like a dandelion? There you go. You're welcome. I think I think Sophia's reading in her room. I think, but I'm not positive. Nope. Day five, no idea what I'm doing, says Nate. I'm sorry. You just you farm, man. Like, <laughs> like I don't really know what to tell you. You just you run around, you farm, you have fun, you make friends, you buy stuff, watch a YouTube video, figure out what you're doing there. 
I mean, really, like, there's no wrong way to play. It's you just play, do whatever, you know, whatever makes you happy. Doesn't really matter what you do, right? This is my favorite thing. Thank you. Yeah, George really does like uh, leeks. And hot peppers are really good for Lewis. Those are about the... Oh, and uh, amethyst is good for Abigail. That's like the only three things I remember. Lee says it's simpler to be friends with the trees. <laughs> Haley is ignoring you. Fuck you too, Haley. <laughs> I do not like Haley. The first Joja Mart run that I ever attempted to do, but uh, decided not to finish. I was going to marry Haley because she seems the most vain. And, you know, I was making that run all about making money because Joja Mart, you have to pay them to get anything done. And, uh, yeah, she's just the worst, man. <laughs> I do I do not care for her at all. Oh, shoot, we need to, uh... Okay, first off, Noodle's not selling stuff, so... I need to check and see if anything needs sold. No. Okay, uh, we need to go into the community center. Uh, Noodle, this is for you, too. We need to go into the community center and read the plaque. So that we can get the quest to continue on... The, uh, the, the community center storyline. Any new fish? Um, well, I'm not close enough to any fishing spots to find out, I guess. Mm, one. I think it's, I, I still don't know what it is. I think it's a bream. Oh, there's a traveling merchant today. We should have stopped there. I mean, we only have four gold, but hi. Oh, a little bit of a lag spike there. Ah, oh, shit, some weird plaque. Can't read it. That's weird. <laughs> Moving on. Can we meet the wizard, right? Yes. Well, tomorrow... She asked if we can meet the wizard now. Um, I think we have to wait till tomorrow to meet the wizard. Because we should get a letter or whatever and go from there. What'd you say, Noodle? So many movies. We have so many... Mm -hmm. Movies? Money, so much money. Lord, she was saying Moonies, and I, I could not understand her for the life of me, man. Kingdom Hearts? In Kingdom Hearts, you call it Moonie? Well, that's because it's spelled Moonie in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Honey is not spelled with a U. <laughs> well, then that's Hoonie. <laughs> Hoonie. How the hell do I place chests? It's showing red everywhere. Uh, you can't place a chest. Holy shit, dude. We got an amethyst, three, six rice shoots, and four coal from that uh, fishing chest. Um, you have to be... If you're playing it on PC, you can only place things down one space away from you. And uh, it has to be an unoccupied space. It can be inside, outside. It doesn't even have to be on your farm. But if you place it off your farm... If a villager ever needs to walk through it for any reason, it will destroy it. And that's true for, for any um, object that can be collided with that you place off your farm. If a villager needs to walk through that tile, they will walk through that tile. And the thing you put there will be gone. <laughs> you got it now? Alright, good. I'm glad you got it. God, why are we getting algae and shit? I want that 31% whatever the hell it is. I'm guessing bream. I'm probably wrong. Oh shit, that wasn't a bite sound. That was just a random plop. But yeah, on PC, I guess it's not super obvious. Since you can, like, grab your chest and, and it looks like you can sit it down anywhere. But yeah, no, you can only put it one tile away. The cool thing about rice shoots is they water themselves. They just had to be planted within, I think it's three tiles of a water source. Okay. Um, it's only 8.30. We got time. We got time. I was going to go plant the rice shoots, which I do want to do tonight, but we got time. Maybe. If the fish ever bite. C come on, fish. Any moment now. I believe in you. Good. Okay. Driftwood. That's all we're getting. Uh, we don't need a ship Joja Cola, right? No. Okay. Just drink it then. And then might as well eat the green algae too, although, yeah, whatever, eat the green algae. It doesn't offer much in the form of uh, energy or food, but, you know, it's better than 
better than nothing, I guess. And it sells for so little, I just don't really care to deal with that. Hi, Victor. Apparently, I've talked to you today. Hi, Abigail. I would give you an amethyst, since that's, like, your favorite gift. But, uh, I have to give the first one to Gunther. I'm sorry. It's like an Animal Crossing, you know? Anytime you get a new fossil or fish or bug or whatever, first one goes to Gunther. Well, an Animal Crossing, it's not Gunther, but you get the point. So, I know I said we could only have four tillable, like, little plots, but I think that's not going to include rice shoots. Because <laughs> that would be annoying. Um, I could plant the rice right here. Oh my god, there's trash everywhere still. On the farm, why is there trash everywhere? Noodle, are you carrying, like, all of your tools with you? Even though Noodle has no inventory space at the moment, they're carrying everything with them except for the fishing pole and watering can. And the only reason... And... And the re the only reason why they're probably not carrying those ones is because they hate doing those two things. <laughs> but anyways, there you go. You see, once we put the rice shoots down, it filled up and made a little rice patty sort of deal. So they water themselves, which is nice. Uh, what else do we want to do? We need to... We can sell the smallmouth bass. We'll keep the mixed seeds and everything else. I guess, yeah, just literally keeping everything else. Or, yeah, okay, everything else. Oh, wait, we got a sunfish, too. We can sell that as well. Might as well. Noodle, are you starving again already? Oh, my lord. How are you starving? Oh, I guess you never do any fishing or anything, so you never get any food. Uh, You could eat... A couple dandelions from the chest there if you wanted to. Although you might as well... Well, no. If you're walking slow, you should probably just eat it now. Eat one now, and then the next time we play, if we remember, after you do a little bit of farm work or whatever, you can eat the other one. Because it fills your, your food bar, of course, but it also fills your energy bar. So it's good to, uh, to kind of do both at the same time. I feel like I was wanting to do something else tonight on the farm before we quit, but I don't remember what. I sold some stuff. I did some stuff. Yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Crafting. We still can't make no freaking scarecrows. Hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to. Or, well, the next time we play because it is after 2 o'clock. Gotta pet the kitty. Every night before you go to bed, you gotta pet the kitty. And then you wait an hour for Noodle to find their way to bed while they stare at the cat. <laughs> Just like real life. <laughs> hey, level one farming. There we go. We can make the scarecrow now. Too bad um, we won't be able to do that tonight. So it looks like we got no money today, but that's because we sold basically everything to Pierre, not <laughs> in the chest. You gotta sell at least one of basically everything in the chest, like ship it out to get the... Uh, the, the completion bonus marker thingy. But, uh, it's a lot... You make money quicker selling it to Pierre because you get it up front. Are you gonna click the button? What it needs to save and whatnot. Go into the next day. <laughs> there you go. Your progress has been saved. Plus, I always like to... Noodle knows this, so I don't know why they were acting like they didn't. But I always like to walk outside whenever I finish up a, a day on Stardew Valley. Or, like, a time on Stardew Valley and just kind of get a preview of what's going to happen the next time I play. I got my strawberry seeds. I got some stuff from Willy. And Mr. Rasmodius, the wizard, is telling me to come visit him. That's uh, some fun stuff. But anyways, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the impromptu little Stardew Valley stream here. I would love to stream more Stardew Valley in general. It's one of my favorite games of all time. It's just uh, hard to fit it into the schedule with the PlayStation 2 gauntlet going on right now. Uh, but if you guys like it, let me know. I would be happy to, like I said, try and try and find more of it. Maybe uh, myself and Noodle can try and find a way to get her hooked up with like a mic or something at some point. That way we can uh, all talk 
together instead of you guys like not being able to hear her because I feel like that's a little bit weird. I'm just hoeing because, you know, I need to do something while I'm sitting here and talking. So, <laughs> uh, as for things that's going on, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the stream, I'll try to remember to next time at the beginning of the stream, work did change my schedule, so I will no longer be streaming on Saturdays, I guess. Instead, I'll be streaming uh, whatever game we're completing right now, being Odin Sphere on Mondays. Um, I hate to do that because I know there are some viewers where that stream is very late in the night for them. And doing that to them on a weekday sucks, but I don't really have a choice in the matter, sadly. So not this Monday, but starting next Monday, um, we will be doing Odin Sphere, I guess. That's pretty much all the news I got, though. Uh, for the last time, everyone, thank you so much for hanging out with me for a bit while I play Stardew Valley. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Have a good night. Be kind to each other. And bye-bye. Floor sinker and knuckleball.